Hello, my name is Danielle Dockery. I'm an applications engineer here at Micro Measurements. Today we're going to discuss the strain gauge installation process. The first part of that process involves surface preparation. During surface preparation, we want to make sure that we end up with a surface roughness that's desired for our strain gauge installation. Once we've achieved that surface finish, we then move on to our gauge uh, itself and we want to then prep the gauge so that we can transfer it over to our test article. To do so, a common glass plate is commonly used or another clean surface if desired. We use gauge installation tape to entrap the strain gauge and when we've done so, we then move the strain gauge over from that glass plate to our test article, making sure that we lift at a very shallow angle to prevent damaging the sensor itself. Once we've transferred the gauge over to our test article, the next thing that we want to do is expose the back side of the strain gauge. So we lift that tape in a very shallow angle again and then expose the back of the gauge. At this point, we are ready to apply our adhesive. And depending on the type of adhesive that we are actually using, this process could change. But for this instance, we're going to discuss the usage of Embond 200. And with Embond 200 itself, all we need is a simple drop right at the fold of the tape line. Once the adhesive is applied, we fold the tape back over the drop of adhesive and then we wipe through firmly to get it to adhere to our test piece. One minute of thumb pressure is all that is required to get the gauge to adhere to the part. We wait an additional two minutes and then we can remove the gauge installation tape itself. After doing so, our strain gauge is actually ready for wire attachment. To do this, we simply tin the two tabs of our strain gauge and we tin our wire as well. And finally, we shorten the length of the wire so that it falls directly over the solder pool of the strain gauge. After we've done that, we reflow the solder to make attachment of the wires to the strain gauge. Adding an additional amount of strain relief to protect the gauge is all that's needed and we are ready to then test our test piece. We may be in an environment that is hostile enough that would require some level of protective coating. So there are a variety of protective coatings out there depending on your application. If you have more questions about this or other processes that we have in strain gauge installation, please contact us at Micro Measurements. Thank you.